Hi, when you guys think of natural disasters, the number one natural disaster, when I ask my kids to make a prediction to give me what they think is a natural disaster, everybody says volcanoes. Now, when you guys usually make volcanoes, it's always the same experiment. Baking soda vinegar, kaboom. Baking soda vinegar, kaboom. Okay, I'm a little bored of that. Now watch this, and all we need is water. Water and food coloring, and I can make something called an underwater volcano. You see, volcanoes aren't just on land, they're also on the water. And when you see it actually erupt under the water, your eyes just are like, what? How did that happen? It's amazing, now check this out. What I suggest you do first is, just get some water, fill it up, and put it aside for just about an hour so that it becomes room temperature. And if you don't know what room temperature is, it's the temperature of the room. The temperature in Hawaii is gonna be different than the temperature in New York. So the room temperature here will be different than the room temperature in Alaska. It doesn't matter where you live, it just matters that it's the temperature of the room that you're in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I think your cup should be clear, because if it's not clear, you're not gonna see it. Hello, it's a little boring. You wanna be able to watch what's happening. So I'm gonna take clear cup, and I'm gonna fill it up with water at room temperature, okay? Just three quarters of the way. Now step two, I'm gonna take a little vial. It doesn't have to be a vial, it could be a little container, it could be a baby food jar. Just be creative. This is all about doing science using things that you have at the home. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take a popsicle stick. Again, if you don't have a popsicle stick, it could be a tree branch, it could be anything that you have. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take a rubber band. And I'm gonna create a lowering device because I'm gonna fill this up with extremely hot water. I'm gonna take my rubber band, take the stick, wrap it around two, three, four, five, and six. And now check this out. I created a lowering device. Now, what I did was, you could use regular hot water from the tap, or if you wanted to make the water a little hotter, ask your mom and dad, heat up some water, microwave, adult supervision though, please guys, you don't wanna get burned. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of red food coloring, because think about it. When you think of hot, what color comes to mind? Red, I know, so that's why I'm gonna make this red, so that you obviously know it's hot. I'm just gonna add about two or three drops of red food coloring. Actually, you know what? I think it's cooler if we make it even redder. So let's add five more drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, that's not five, sorry. Let me now stir it around. And I really don't wanna touch it, because it's hot. So now I'm gonna take my lowering device, and I'm gonna fill it up. Do not leave any air at the top of your vial. So I'm gonna fill this up with water, and you should not put your face close to it because the air bubble's gonna pop up, and you don't want hot water hitting your face, that's not good. Fill it up, and now I have my red, very hot water, and now I'm gonna take it. Now the key to this experiment is do not tilt your vial. Don't tilt it to the left, don't tilt it to the right. As you're taking it, you're gonna lower it straight down into the water at the room temperature. And whatever you do, do not let go of the stick, because then it'll just float around. You wanna take it and go straight, make believe I'm doing it, you're gonna go straight down into the water at room temperature. And I want everybody make an observation. An observation in science is so important. It's just watch very carefully what happens to all of the hot water. Are you ready? Wanna do a countdown? Let's do a countdown, ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower it. And if you drop the eye level, you're gonna notice all the hot water is rushing to the top of the surface of the water at room temperature. Not one drop of the hot water is at the bottom of the container. It's all at the top, because see the heat made the water molecules move faster. And when the water molecules move faster, it became less dense than the water at room te temperature. And when water or air is less dense, it rises. And as you can see, all of it rose to the top. And if you don't believe me, we can do the same experiment, okay, with cold water, which we could do that right now. And if you look, it's still all red at the top, not a drop of it. But eventually, when you leave the water there and it becomes water at room temperature, the heat from the water will lower and the entire water will turn red. But check this out. Watch what happens if we use cold water. I'm gonna do the same experiment. It's identical, same materials, okay? You have cup, water at room temperature. Regular water, I'm gonna make it really, really, really cold. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stir it around. 
And while I stir, let me ask you a question. When you think of cold, what color comes to mind? It's not red, right? It's blue. Everybody thinks of the color blue when you think of cold. So to make this experiment fun, let's add blue. I'll add three drops. One, two, three. Stir it around. Taste, tastes like nothing. Food coloring has no taste. And watch this, okay? Vial, stick. Same exact experiment, rubber band. The only thing that I changed, if you want to think about variables, and variables are things that could affect the outcome of your experiment, I'm changing one thing, the temperature of the water. Instead of using hot water, we're using cold water. I'm going to take my vial, exactly the same thing, and I'm going to fill it up. You really shouldn't try to get an ice cube in there. Now, what I love about science is that we can make predictions and it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. But let's think about this. When you put the hot water into the water at room temperature, you made an observation and all the heat rose. Well, what do you think is going to happen to the ice cold water? The water molecules now are not moving around so fast. So what do you think is going to happen? Maybe, right? Let's see. Let's check it out. There's the water at room temperature. Again, don't tilt it to the sides. You're just going to go straight down and watch what happens. And you're going to notice that all of the cold is staying in the vial. Some of it came out. But if you look at the top of the water at room temperature, none of it is going to the top. Because what I just did was made the ice cold water more dense than the room temperature water. So it's sinking and staying at the bottom of the water. So actually in this experiment, you can make water float on top of water and you can make water sink inside of water. Pretty cool, right? And that's my underwater volcano.